Buckle up, because today we're diving deep into something so cool, it's literally water. But hey, not just any water, we're talking about heavy water. Yes, you heard that right. Heavy water, or for those of you who love a bit of science flair, deuterium oxide, D2O. Picture this. It's just like your everyday H2O, but with a little extra oomph. This extra comes from deuterium, a type of hydrogen that decided to bulk up with an extra neutron, making it twice as heavy as the regular hydrogen we're all chummy with. So, when this heavyweight champion teams up with oxygen, the water it forms tips the scales at about 10% heavier than what's coming out of your kitchen tap. Hence the name, heavy water. Now, before you go all mad scientist and start filling your water bottles with this stuff, let's pump the brakes a bit. While heavy water is super fascinating, it's also super rare and, yeah, super expensive. You're not gonna find it at your local supermarket. We're talking special orders from lab supply stores. But the whole idea of drinking something so sci-fi is pretty cool, right? Let's get down to the nitty gritty. In small doses, like a glass or two, heavy water is basically a party trick for your body. It can handle it. Scientists even use it in nutrition experiments because it's like a neon highlighter for tracking how our bodies burn energy. But, and this is a big, but don't get any wild ideas about switching to heavy water full time. Too much of a good thing can be bad. And in this case, it can be deadly. Laboratory critters have shown us that if about a third of their body's H2O is swapped for D2O, things go south real fast. And plants? Forget about it. They pretty much give up on growing. So what's the deal with the danger? It's all about the kinetic isotope effect. This fancy term means that the heavyweight version of hydrogen makes chemical reactions in your body move like they're running through molasses. For heavy water, its stronger bonds mean your body has to work harder to break them slowing down all those essential life processes. Let's dive even deeper into the pool of heavy water. Splash! But first, a quick joke to set the mood. Why did the water molecule go to the gym? To turn into heavy water. Okay, okay, I promise the science is way cooler than my jokes. Now, heavy water isn't just your run-of-the-mill H2O with a couple of extra neutrons to flex. Imagine this, you're at a party and someone asks for a light beer, but you, being the science aficionado that you are, casually mention you only drink heavy water. Talk about a conversation starter, right? But then you'd have to explain why your fancy water doesn't actually make you any stronger or turn you into a Marvel superhero. It's just regular water's bulkier cousin who decided to put on some neutron weight. Speaking of uses, let's not get ahead of ourselves and think heavy water is the new sports drink on the block. It's not like you can just sip on it and expect to run marathons with less effort. In fact, the real uses of heavy water are way out of the ordinary. Picture this. Scientists actually use this heavyweight champion in nuclear reactors. Yeah, it's not just for hydration, it's helping to produce energy. But before you start thinking of installing a mini reactor in your backyard to impress the neighbors, remember, it's best left to the professionals. And here's a thought. If heavy water is 10% heavier than regular water, does that mean if I fill my swimming pool with it, I'll finally be able to do that cool floating trick without sinking like a stone? Well, not exactly, but it's fun to dream about a pool party where the water's so fancy you feel lighter just by being in it. In reality, though, sticking to regular pool water is your best bet unless you want to empty your wallet and possibly turn your pool into a science experiment gone wrong. To wrap it up with one more chuckle, consider this. If heavy water were a character in a sitcom, it would be the one who always talks about going to the gym, but never actually loses any weight because, well, it's heavy water. It's supposed to be heavy. On a serious note though, the exploration of substances like heavy water shows us the incredible diversity and complexity of the world around us. It's a reminder that even the most mundane elements of our daily lives, like water, have depths waiting to be explored. But wait, there's more. Heavy water has a cousin, tritium oxide or super heavy water, which is like the black sheep of the water family because it's radioactive. Yeah, you heard that, right? Instead of just an extra neutron, tritium brings two to the party along with a dose of radioactivity. Now, it's not going to turn you into a superhero or anything. In fact, it's pretty weak sauce in the radioactive world. Its beta particles can't even get past your skin. But if you drink it, that's a different story, as those particles could do some serious internal redecorating, potentially upping the risk of cancer. So where does this leave us? Fascination with heavy water is totally understandable. But when it comes to quenching your thirst, sticking to the tried and true H2O from your tap is the way to go. It's refreshing hydrating, and won't turn your insides into a high school science experiment. Now, if this deep dive into the world of water has got your brain buzzing, that's what we're here for. At Brain Blitz, we're all about peeling back the layers of the ordinary to reveal the extraordinary hidden beneath. Science is a wild ride, full of wonders and wait, what? 
moments, and we're here to explore every single one of them together. Oh, and if you've been riding this wave of knowledge with us and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Dive into our Brain Blitz community for more adventures into the awesome world around us. And don't forget to smash that like button and drop a comment below. Your curiosity fuels our journey. And there's nothing we love more than engaging with fellow knowledge seekers. So next time you're sipping on a glass of plain old H2O, give a nod to its heavier cousin, the star of nuclear reactors and science experiments, and remember the wonders that lurk in the molecules around us. And hey, if you've been soaking up all this knowledge and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, now's the time. Join us on Brain Blitz as we continue to dive into the fascinating world of science, making the ordinary extraordinary, one joke and one discovery at a time. Don't forget to like, comment, and keep those curiosity gears turning. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep hydrating. With regular water, please. Cheers to science, to learning, and to staying forever curious. Until next time, Brain Blitzer! <laughs>